Hey guys, my name is Rosé Ejidar. In this video, we are going to use the MK Map Wave class from MapKit to render the map. We will create this pretty UI and it will start from Joshua Tree National Park. Let's get started. In the previous video, we added our text is here. Instead of adding more code in this file, we are going to create a custom file for our map weave. I'm gonna say file new file. It is going to be Swift UI weave. I'm gonna name it map weave. We have to add the import statement for map kit. I'm going to declare UI weave representable here. It's a protocol that has two requirements we need to add. We have to get rid of from this and I'm going to say function make URV. Yes, this one. And I'm gonna say MK MatWe. I'm gonna make a URV in the type of MatWe. Frame. From zero. Now I'm going to add the update URV method that sets the map weaves region. I click it the leave preview button to switch the preview to leave mode. It is because when previews are in static mode, they only fully render Swift UR views. When KMAP view is a UR view subclass, we will need to switch to a leave preview to see the map. My map came. Here is my Joshua Tree National Park. Here I added the UR view representable protocol that has two requirements. One, make UR view which makes and returns an empty MK map view from zero. And I also added the update URV method that sets the map weave region to the correct coordinates to center the map on Turtle Rock. I could say this center in San Francisco or somewhere else. I created a coordinate with latitude, longitude of Joshua Tree National Park. Then I added this as a region. And I set this region in the update URV. MK map weave started from the zero and it fitted to entire screen, it is just here is empty. To allow the map content to extend to the top edge of the screen, we have to add edge ignoring safe area top modifier to the map view. I'm gonna say top. And the map fitted to entire screen. Thank you for watching. See you soon, guys. Bye-bye.